everybody, welcome to our Tiddly Tots video. I hope everybody's keeping well and safe at home. I've got a little friend helping me here this morning. This is my daughter, Anna. How old are you, Anna? Uh, I'm seven. She's seven, so she's not little anymore, not like you guys anyway. We're going to tell a story in a minute, but before we begin, I've got two activities that you can do at home to help you get into the story this morning. I hope that they're things that you can find around your home or in your garden. And the very first one is making a cross out of twigs and string that Anna and I have done this, up this morning. So we've been wrapping the twine that we had in the garden around twigs that we found to make a cross. And we're going to use that in our storytelling. The other activity, if you have some plant pots and some compost and some seeds, you could plant some seeds and some compost. Anna, do you want to show everybody the seed that we've got? We've got some... Sunflower seeds, can you see it? It's very tiny, black and white stripes. Now, a sunflower seed comes from the flower of the sunflower plant that has died. Can you pop it in? We're going to plant it now. We're going to pop it in some soil and then we'll leave it somewhere warm and water it and put, hopefully get some sunshine on it. And it will grow into a beautiful big sunflower just like the one on the packaging we hope and we can put it out in the garden and it'll be a sign of hope for us you see the sunflower seed is something that has died but that has new life in it and today we're going to talk about how Jesus died but came back to life again so hopefully you can plant some seeds it may not be sunflower seeds but any kind of seeds that you can then hopefully put out in the garden as a sign of God's hope and promise in Jesus now then are you ready for our story time? Mm -hmm. What do we do first before we have our story? We welcome the boys. Are we going to welcome the boys? Okay, let's get ready. Clapping hands at the ready. One, two, three. Where are the boys? Where are the boys? Did they come? Did they come? Come to Tiddly Tots. Come to Tiddly Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And how are we going to welcome the boys? Anna's got something new that we can do. How are we going to welcome the boys, Anna? We're going to do a big bow. Welcome, boys. Okay, who do we welcome next? The girls. Okay, are you ready, girls? One, two, three. Where are the girls? Where are the girls? Did they come? Did they come? Come to Tiddly Tots, come to Tiddly Tots. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And how do we welcome the girls? Are you going to show them what you've been learning in your ballet class, Anna? Go for it. Girls, can you have a go at doing what Anna's doing? She's doing a curtsy. <gasps> welcome, girls. Thanks, Anna. Now, I want to tell you the next part of our Easter story, and it's from the Bible. So can we put our hands in the shape of a book? We're going to sing our Bible song. I open my Bible and what do I see? Words that tell me that God made me. I open my Bible and what do I see? Words that tell me that God loves me. Now we heard all about how Jesus came into Jerusalem and all the crowds waved palm leaves and shouted, Here's come, here comes the God who saves us. And then he sat down for a last supper with his friends and shared bread and wine and thanked God because he knew he had an important job to do. So here's Jesus. People didn't like that Jesus was telling them all about God and how much God loved them. And so they arranged for some soldiers to arrest Jesus. So the soldiers took Jesus and they made him carry a big, heavy wooden cross through the city up onto a hill. They put the cross in the ground and they put Jesus on the cross. Now Jesus was in so much pain. He was really suffering on the cross. It wasn't nice. The soldiers were guarding him and his friends were nearby. And he cried out to God, Father, forgive these people because they don't know what they're doing. And then Jesus died. 
Now that seemed for Jesus' friends like the end of everything. All the amazing things that Jesus had done and taught them and now he'd gone. What was going on? But God had a plan and in a few days something amazing and wonderful would happen and Jesus would be alive again. Now, early in the morning, Mary and some of her friends went to the place where Jesus had been buried. There we go. Can you do that for us? Oh, lovely. But when they arrived, the place where Jesus had been buried was a cave and it had a big stone in front of it. And the big stone had been moved away and the tomb was empty. Can you fit them all in, Anna? And there was an angel there. Hold the angel for us, Anna. What's that? And the angel said to them, don't worry, don't be afraid. Jesus, who has died, is alive again. Now, the Mary and her friends could not believe what the angel had been saying, but they knew in their hearts that it was true. And they were so excited that they ran off to tell all their friends that Jesus was alive. Isn't that amazing? Jesus had died on the cross, but now was alive again. And he would appear to his friends and we would they would see him again. Are you ready? We're going to do our prayer song. Let's get our hands. We put one little hand over one little eye. The other little hand on the other little eye. Bow our little heads and say a little prayer. Talk to God. And we say thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross, that you died and you came back to life again so that we can have hope of new life, not just in this life, but in the world that is to come. Amen. Amen. Right. Well, all it remains is for us to do our goodbye song and tell you that we'll have another Tiddy Talk session next Monday and look forward to c connecting with you all. If there's anything you need from St Barnabas, do get in touch. If you're self-isolating and you need some help, do be in touch. And if we can pray for you, we're praying for you anyway, but if there's anything specific, do let us know. But we're going to do a goodbye song. I don't know if you know this one, Anna. We'll give it a go. With my little hands I go clap. With my little feet I go tap, tap, tap With my little arms I wave bye, bye, bye With my little legs I kick hi, hi, hi With my little eyes I say peek-a-boo With my little 